Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing very well, TGIF, absolutely. This was the week from HE Double Hockey Sticks, and I am very glad that it is Friday. I made a little um, detour trip today on the way home from work. My car just kind of turned um, down the street that Fuller's is on. So I knew Brenda told me that her boyfriend Jerry had a clean out. So I gave it a couple days and finally I couldn't stand it and I went today. And I did get some very, very awesome items. Um, very happy with what I found. I spent 10 bucks. 10 bucks. Well, let me show you what I got. Uh, since Halloween is coming up, let me show you. I did find a um, couple Halloween items. I was very happy. Um, this is not real vintage, but I thought this was absolutely adorable. Love it. It's only one-sided. And this is made by um, American Greeting Cards. So, and you guys know I love my ghosts, so had to get it. So I grabbed that. This is my most favorite thing that I got today. Yes. How awesome is he? He does have a little bit of paint loss down here, but I do not care. And I have to retie the, the knot on this side of the handle because it came undone. He's fabulous. And she said she has another one still in the garage at the house. So I whispered to her, put it aside for me. Because there was this other girl in there that was looking for Halloween stuff. So hopefully she puts it aside for me. So I got this guy. I'm very excited about him. And actually, who makes him? Does it say on here anywhere? I see nothing. So I don't know. Uh, and that was it for Halloween. However, I did find these. And because they have orange bulbs, I guess you could consider them Halloween. These are pretty old. Look at these. Mm -hmm. Got two of them. You can see by the cord that these are very vintage. They work. I plug them in and I love them. And I probably will put these in the living room window since they have the orange um, bulbs in them for Halloween. And then when Christmas rolls around, I could always change the bulbs to a different color. You know, have the multicolored bulbs. So I got two of these. These are very cool. Oh. All right. So let's move on from Halloween to some vintage Christmas. Not a lot, but some cool stuff. Actually, uh, I only got like a couple things that are really vintage, which is this candle. I love this candle. Look at the gorgeous picture on there. It's beautiful. And it was never burned. And it's just like red on the other side. So I grabbed this lovely, lovely, lovely candle. Um, <laughs> Look at this, you guys. How vintage can we get? Look at Santa riding the reindeer. And it says... Um, Dream, dream pets, 
and it says San Francisco, California, a uh, pro product of Japan, but there is no date, but he's pretty cool. Love it. Then I got this guy. Um, I saw no date or anything anywhere. Uh, it's It says Culpepper on it. A lovely surprise from Culpepper. Um, I would have to research this. But I got him because he just looks vintage. Whether or not he is, I don't know yet. But I just thought he was really cool. In fact, she had another one exactly like this, but it was a big one. But I didn't get that one. I just got the small one. So I thought he was really cool. He looks pretty, he looks pretty cool, I thought. And then, let me put this over here for a minute. I got this, um, this little angel. I believe she's a spun head and her wings are intact, but this one's bent up a little bit. It has a tag on here and it says um, Delta Novelty Company, Japan. And she's just stuffed with like tissue paper. And she's got a little horn in this hand. Oops, so she's very cute. And I grabbed this. This is not vintage, but I love it. I absolutely love this. And I could definitely put some Christmas characters in this sled. And I think they would look really cute vintage um, items. Or let me see, what else could I put in here? Christmas bulbs, antique ones. Um, I don't know. You guys got any ideas of what I could put in this sleigh? I just think it's so adorable. I absolutely love it. Um, all right. And actually, that's it for Christmas. Um, there was a bunch of other Christmas, but it wasn't vintage. So I passed on it. But let me show you this because... You're going to remember this lamp because I asked you guys your opinion on the globe that I grabbed for it, whether it should be white or clear or smaller. And the majority said smaller in white, which was my thought. So look what I found today. And I think that this goes perfect on this lamp. Remember this lamp, you guys? hold it back here. I think this globe looks fabulous on this lamp. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I could not find the one that it's supposed to have where it says bar um, on it. So I got the next best thing and I thought that this really, really goes perfect on here. So let me know what you think. I was ecstatic when I saw it sitting there. I was like, oh my God, I gotta hurry up and grab it. There we go. Um, all right, let me see, what's next? Okay, after Christmas is New Year's, so check this vintage noisemaker out. Look at the graphics on this. <laughs> I love it. How cool is this? Oh, that poor guy's got a thing going right through his face. A hole. <laughs> they could have planned that out a little better. He looks like someone axed him right in the face. Like, really? But anyways, that is awesome. Um, I do not see... Oh, wait. Here we go. Made in the USA. That's what it says. But there's no date. But... This is awesome. This will go out um, in my living room at Christmas time because, you know, New Year's is part of the Christmas season. 
So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed this really old um, Disney pin for my daughter. <laughs> Watch Weekend Afternoons, Goof Troop. And I just thought it was really cute, so I grabbed it. She could just maybe add it to her collection. I'm not quite sure how old it is, but I'd, I'd have to Google Goof Troop and see when that came out. But grab that. I don't know why I cannot remember what they call these bowls, other than I know they're melamine, but I, I thought they called them barf bowls because of the pattern, but... I got one of these, and it's in pretty good condition. Uh, there's nothing written on it, you know, no mark or anything, but um, I thought it was really cool, and I just had to get it. And I know Rachel Ray makes a, a large one, and she calls it her garbage bowl, um, but I do not believe that this is Rachel Ray. I believe that this is much older, so I grabbed it. Can't remember what it's called, you guys. Leave it for me in the comments if you know. Alex, I think you hauled one of these not long ago. And you called it something. And, of course, the CRS is kicking in. And I can't remember. So, very cool. Oh, my God, you guys. You know, when you go into Fuller's, there is, like I said before, there is stuff everywhere. There is stuff up on pieces of furniture. There's stuff hanging from the ceiling. It's like everywhere. So you have to really, really look. So I was getting ready to, to check out and I look up and on this piece of furniture, I see this beauty with gold trim to boot. Look at this. I love it. And it's, um, I, again, the name escapes me. Um, it's, I want to say pedal wear, but it's not pedal wear. I forgot what it's called. I, I recently thrifted, um, a platter just like this, but it did not have the gold, the gold rim. But I mean, look at that. You can see my hand right through it. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I snatched that up right quick. Then I saw this beautiful little teapot. Look at this. That's the one side. And this is the other side. It's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely, oh, absolutely. That's the word of the day. Absolutely. I love this teapot. And I think it is so, so pretty. I, it looks very dainty, like English, like an English tea party. And <clears throat> it's in perfect condition. There are no chips, no cracks. And it is made by Handcrafted Otagiri. Otagiri. So, this will be um, for sale. Um, I'm thinking I might be able to get between $18 and $25 for this beautiful teapot. Um, <clears throat> this is very, very cool. Look at this, you guys. Look at this picture. Let me hold it up. Oh, boy, you guys. Your buddy's back. It's Binks. No, Binks. No, no, no. Come on, get down. Got this gorgeous picture. And you can see it has this, this pattern. I can't remember what they call that type of a pattern. And then it has gold rimming. And it does have some paint loss, as you can see. But this is a gorgeous picture. 
Um, this is going to be for resale. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I can get for this. I don't know who makes it, but I do know that it's kind of unique. So I'm thinking I probably could get maybe any, maybe between $20 and $30 for it. <laughs> Minus the tail. <laughs> it also has an applied handle. So if you could see that gorgeous gorgeous binks hi what's up buddy here let me move this out of the way sorry guys excuse me and this hi what's up <laughs> hi how you doing okay hi buddy what's up he missed me all day Yes, I know. Okay. Um, I got two more things from Fuller's. And then I got uh, one more thing from my friend at work that got me all that awesome stuff a couple videos ago. Um, so I'll, then I'll show you that. Hi. <laughs> what a cat. He's a trip, aren't you? You are something else there, dude. You are. You are too funny. Okay. I have the, the heat on because it was only like 66 in here, and I don't like being cold. So I flicked the heat on just to take the chill out. Right, Binks? Why? You're not cold, are you? Nah. Nah, come here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Sit down. That's a good boy. Okay. All right. Good boy. Um, okay. So, I ended up getting... I'm trying... Are you, are you comfy? Are you comfy? Okay, good. I'm glad. That's great. That's great. Um, I ended up getting two more rotary phones. This one is yellow, um, but it has like a two-toned <laughs> receiver. And I don't know if it's just because it's dirty or... If that's the way it is, I don't know. But I got this one. These darn things are heavy. And <clears throat> I got this one. And Binks is playing with the cord. <laughs> Get out of there. And it does work. Works fine. So, I got that. <laughs> no, no cord for you. And also, the other one works fine, too. I tried it. Binks, come on. Um, and that was what I got at Fuller's. And I got all of this stuff for 10 bucks. Holy cow. Oh, and I also got a clothes basket to haul it all home in. <laughs> so, that's over there. I'm not going to show you a clothes basket. All right. And the one other thing that I wanted to show you guys was from my friend that I work with. Uh, he brought this in for me uh, yesterday. Or no, this morning, actually. And I almost fell out of my seat. I almost choked on my breakfast. Check this out, you guys. Look at this vintage kitchen clock. 
This is from the 50s, guys. Here's the cord. It is made by Sessions. Try, don't buy that. I'm trying to see if there is a date on here. There is not. Self-starting electric clock. This is fabulous and it works. So this is also going to be for sale either in my Etsy or eBay shop. I haven't decided, probably my Etsy shop. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to ask for it yet, but I think this is awesome. If it was a little bit bigger, I would keep it, but it's too small for my wall. Um, so I got to let it go. <laughs> I love it. I don't want to, guys. Okay, I know. I can't keep everything. Uh, yeah. So, that is my haul video for today. I did receive some friend mail. Okay, I am back. Um, so let me start with, I did receive, um, a card in the mail today. And, um, this is from my friend Mary. And she's from uh, Nottingham, Maryland. So it looks to be, let me show you, uh, a Halloween card. <laughs> I don't want to show her a dress or anything. Love the sticker. It's adorable. Oh, maybe not. Let me see. <laughs> this is a thank you card, actually. She purchased the Asian um, bookend uh, that I thrifted a couple videos ago. And I, like, touched his lip up where there was, like, the paint loss. So she said, uh, Dear D, my bookend arrived safely, and thank you for fixing his lips. I love him. And she said, I love the little ghost. Um, she put her on her fridge. I sent her a little uh, ghost that I made out of polymer clay. Um, I so enjoy your YouTube channel. You are a bright spot in a lot of people's lives. God bless you and yours and keep us laughing. Love, Mary. So, thank you, Mary. Um... Very, very nice of you to send me that card. I will I will keep this. Look how pretty that is. I keep all of my cards, you guys. I actually went through all of my cards and you know that people sent with um with friend mail and I made a list of all the thank you cards that I'm gonna be sending out. So I started that process. <laughs> so again, thank you, Mary. I'm glad you love your bookend. I actually almost kept that, but I'm glad that I decided to um, sell it to you. Um, next, is I received um, something from Alex from Chapter 2 Vintage Company. Um, I was watching one of her videos, and I saw... Uh, she had uh, thrifted a big box of jewelry and I saw this one brooch in the box and I was like, Alex, I have to have that brooch. So she sent it to me. I mean, I was going to buy it from her, but look at this. Is that gorgeous? I love, I don't know what it is about it that I love. I think because it's just different, I just love it. I love the blue stones and it's a flower and I just, I don't know. I saw it, I saw it in the box amongst all the other pieces that were in there. It just stuck out to me and I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. So she sent that to me. Thank you, Alex. I love you. <laughs> and she sent me... 
something that she made and she was sharing this with me as she was, you know, debating on trying to make them. And I have to say, she is doing a fabulous job. Look at this guy. How awesome is he? I love this. I'm going to put this. I'm thinking I may, I may slide it down on one of these candles like this, you know. Like slide it down and let it sit, you know, down on here. That would look awesome. I absolutely love this. Thank you so much, Alex. She made all kinds of different ones, and I loved every one of them that she made. And she sends it in such cute packaging. She sends it in this cute little Halloween bag. And this pin came in this beautiful little, like, uh, I forgot this material. But, you know, you know. <laughs> you know, it's time for the crickets, yes. And then she sent me these really cute little vintage treat bags. How cute are those? There's a green one, the blue one, an orange one, and a purple one. I love these. These are so cute. Alex, you are awesome. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. So I got that uh, yesterday, I think it came. I'm sorry, Alex, I meant to uh, message you and tell you that I received it. You know how I am. I get moving and doing things and I totally lose my train of thought. Um, and the last uh, package I received, I picked up yesterday as, as well at the post office. And this is from my friend, Cynthia. She uh, sent me a card. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at you guys. It looks just like Binks. How cute is that? All right. She said she had more, but it didn't fit in the box. Um, I know the feeling. <laughs> All right. I'm just spread this to myself. <laughs> All right. What did she send me here? Let's get all this bubble wrap out. I'm going to grab some of my iced tea. Oh, look at this box. Oh my gosh, hang on. Oh, look at this box, you guys. Oh my word, is that not awesome? I love that. Oh my gosh, how cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, um, there's one, there's some other things in here. So let me take these out and I'm going to open these first before I see what's in the box. All right, so we got everything out. <gasps> Look at this guy. Oh my goodness. A precious moment. Precious Moment Fireman. How cute is he? And he's got his little tag on him still and everything. Oh my God, that is adorable. Oh, oh my goodness. How cute is he? I'm trying to see where the, there we go the tape here. All right. <laughs> oh, 
how cute are these? Those are adorable. And I have the Campbell soup um bowls. The 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 handled the handled bowls. Um they're about, you know what I mean. Um Oh my God, those are absolutely adorable. I love these. <laughs> How cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, lots of wrapping. Whereby, where did I lose my marbles? By Lois Memory. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is perfect. I have to show you guys something. Look at that face. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, I had to go and get this particular thing to show you guys. Um, and I know this is made by the same company. I could tell just by looking at it. Let me look on the bottom. Yep, absolutely. Um, quite a few years ago, my mother gave me this figurine and it was given to her by one of her friends. So let me just... Let me show you this. Uh, the title of the book is Hot Flashes and Me. <laughs> Look at that. So now I have a pair. These are awesome. I am putting both of these on my dresser in my bedroom. <laughs> My mother knew I was going through the hot flashes really bad like she did, so she gave me this. She said, I think it's time I hand it down to you. I'm like, oh, thank you. Just like you handed down the hot flashes. Thanks a lot, Mom. <laughs> so I had to share this with you guys, and I have a stray hair that keeps hanging down and tickling my nose. Those are awesome. All right, now let's see what's in the box. <laughs> Look at this picture frame. How cute is that? Well, you know I'm gonna have to put a picture of Binks in there. That's a given, absolutely. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness you guys just really spoil me wait you know like way too much i oh my word what the heck look at this oh my goodness no more jumping on the bed how cute is this little guy? He's a hairy little sucker. Look at that. <laughs> Who is this made by? The Ashton Drake Galleries. Look at him. Oh my gosh. You know what? He would be, like, perfect. Have any of you seen um, Joanne from A Work in Progress? If you have not, I am going to link her channel in the description box. She made these adorable teacups. And one of them, she had a pig in it in a bubble bath. 
he would make the perfect thing to put in a teacup having a bubble bath. I might have to make one using this guy. Oh my goodness, he is hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's awesome. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That is gorgeous. How pretty. Oh, wow. I love that. That's gorgeous. 2005. 14 years old already. Wow. That's going on my Christmas tree. Oh, look at you guys. They're kitty salt and pepper shakers. How cute are they? <gasps> oh, how cute. Those are adorable. Oh my goodness. <laughs> somebody, somebody made those. Hand painted those in like ceramic. Those are adorable. Oh, look at this. This is Avon, you guys. Look at that. That would look gorgeous with an orange candle inside. Yep, I'm going to put this out in my living room with an orange candle. That is beautiful. It says Avon, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. Avon, trying to get it to where you can see it. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. I love that. At first I thought it was a um, paperweight. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is a salt and pepper shaker. This end has the, the pepper, or the salt, and this end, top piece, has the pepper. How cute is that? That is adorable. That will be going right above my stove when I decorate for Christmas. That is so cute. I absolutely love it. Oh, my goodness. Snowman, I love them. A few more things here, guys. Oh, look at how cute are these little guys. Girls, I should say. Precious moments. <laughs> Adorable. Adorable. Now these I can fit in my cabinet still because they're tiny enough. <laughs> oh, look. Okay, now there, uh, this is, oh my God. How stinking cute is she? Her little ducky came off though. I'm going to have to glue it back on. But she's got a little, whoops, a little ducky here that sits on there. Look at that. How cute is that? Oh, my God. I love it. Look at that bathing cap. How cute. Look at this one. There's little flowers peeking out of the snow. That is, those are adorable. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to fix the little ducky on there. Oh, wow. Oh, here's another one. Oh, two more. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Look at these, you guys. Oh, 
<laughs> How adorable. This is a pilgrim lady, it looks like to me. Look at that. How cute. Oh my goodness. Yep, these are going to go right in my curio cabinet. Then I have, oh look it, it's a strawberry notepad. <laughs> How cute is that? I'll use this at work. I'm going to put it on my desk. Or no, actually, is it? Wait a minute. Let me see. They're coasters. Hello. Coasters. Not a notepad. I'll be all right. You know, that's why they put, like, stuff on the back called writing. Hmm. Okay, and then we have this box here, Heartwood Creek, Jim Shore. So what do we have in here? Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this, you guys. Come on, can you please focus for me? Oh, it's absolutely beautiful and it's two-sided. And it's made out of wood and it's hand carved. That is stunning. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Cynthia, thank you so much. You, you like, know me well. Hmm. Yes, you do. You know me well. Wow. Some awesome, awesome friend mail right there. I absolutely love everything. And I appreciate I appreciate what you guys do for me. I really do. I, I'm just so taken back by this whole, the whole thing. I really am. I'm like, yep. Fantastic. So again, thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, Cindy. Or not Cindy. Cindy, Mary, oh my word. Awesome, awesome, thoughtful gifts. Absolutely. Um, I just want to mention that today is the 25th of October. There's three days left to enter for a chance to win um, a box of vintage goodies and the aluminum Christmas tree. So um, you need to leave a comment in that video, which I will put a link for it below, um, of what your favorite item is that I thrifted. Okay, so you have until the 28th at 12 Eastern Standard Time. So at 12 Eastern Standard Time, the contest will be over. And um, probably that is that is a uh, Monday. So I will probably, probably pick the winner on Wednesday the 30th. Okay? So Wednesday the 30th. Hopefully I remember. <laughs> I will post a video picking the winner. So I wanted to thank everyone for commenting. There's over 200 and something comments so far. So um, I want to thank everyone for participating in advance. And um, I guess that's it for now, guys. I'm not going thrifting um, like I'm not going to any estate sales or anything this weekend. 
Um, I'm going to help my daughter who decided she wants to do some purging. <laughs> and she wants me to help. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But what she's going to do is she's going to donate um, all of her items to uh, women and children's um, places and um, stuff like that. So uh, it'll be awesome. So on that note, guys, I'm going to close this very long video and I will catch you soon. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.